What's up my brothers? Eric Wong from ericwongma.com and today I've got an awesome exercise for you that's going to help all you mixed martial artists, grapplers, wrestlers, or even you guys who are just into unique exercises and functional fitness. It's going to help all you guys out. And I call this exercise the anaconda chin up. And for all you fighters out there, you'll know why. Because the anaconda choke is the choke where you catch a guy's neck, grab your own bicep, and then you squeeze and put him to sleep or make him tap out. This exercise is going to help you to train that specific submission strength to be able to catch more taps, more chokes, more arm bars. Now, we all know that it's ideal to catch the perfect technique, sink it in 100% where you don't need any strength, but sometimes you don't get it 100% and a little bit of strength and stamina will help you to get that choke and finish off that submission. So think of it more as a backup to perfect technique. Okay, so the anaconda choke, chin up here, you're just gonna grab the chin up bar with one hand. Other, other hand goes over the top of your bicep. From there, you're just gonna pull up and you're gonna squeeze and pull with both arms. So you're squeezing with this arm that's over top of my bicep. I'm pulling in and using the lat to squeeze close and push my chest out. And I'm also pulling up with the arm that's on the bar. Here we go. Okay, let me bang out a couple more reps on the other side. Okay, those guys are tough. And you can see that that's training that exact strength that you need to finish off the anaconda, anaconda choke. So if you can't quite do that yet, there's a couple of regressions that you could do. First one that you could do is the one and a half chin up. So the one and a half chin up, just grab the bar, grab your wrist and pull up. It's a little bit easier because this base of support in the anaconda chin up is moving. It's moving up and down, doesn't give you that solid base support. When you're doing the one and a half, you've got the solid base support. This, your forearm doesn't move at all. Okay, another regression you can do, if you can't quite do that, just grab a stool, step up, get up to the top, and then do eccentric. So you're up the top, then eccentric on the way down, control it all the way down, and then do it again. Jump up to the top, and control it on the way down. That way, you're going to be able to train that same movement patterns, those same muscles, but it's going to be a little bit easier because the eccentric mode, you're stronger than pulling up in concentric mode. Okay, so that's a great exercise for you to do. Now you can use it as a gauge. If you're not quite there yet, you can use it as a gauge of your pulling strength because when you do build, when you are able to get it, then you know you've improved. All right. Now, if you want some more exercises for submission strength, submission stamina, actually not just more exercises, but a complete six week blueprint, then check out the link right below in the description, ericwongma.com forward slash more taps. And there you'll see some more exercises and a whole program to follow to increase your submission strength and stamina. All right, guys, I'm out. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Peace.